G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Now what I've got in front of me is my fire kit and a few items that I mi uh, mix and match and take with me. Now the fire, main fire kit is in the pouch here which is the Helicontex Seri pouch. But I just want to quickly go through some other items. The first one I'll show you is in here. Now it's what a lot of people know and it's the Baco Laplander saw. So we've got fire uh, seasons finished and now we can have fires in our fire pits if you go out on the Bilberman track, for example. So we're gonna need a saw for cutting the wood. This little saw is a pretty good saw. I've had it quite a while. I've got a second one, which I think I've only ever used once. And the rest of the time I've had this and this power. what? Where are we about six, seven years old now? So that goes with me for cutting wood for the bigger pieces. And on my day walks, I carry this, which is the TBS Wolverine Poco folding knife. And the reason I've got this one is this. It fits in my hand nice, it feels good. We've got a 90 degree angle and part of the pouch, we've got a ferro rod. So I've always got the uh, ability to make fire with that. So put all these away tidy as I go. Push that down. Leather needs softening up a bit still. The next one is the cans bowl and I've actually got that in a TBS pouch. And the cans bowl is from more knife. Now I've used this a fair bit. Half decent knife. Again, it's got a 90 degree spine, so I can strike wood. And a three quarter lint. So fairly decent, fairly strong. Half, half decent all round knife. But like I said, I've got the ferro rod. And the actual fair one on this is the Dragon's Fire from Survival Supplies Australia. And the handle is from Olive Tree at the backyard here I made myself. Now, the next one is a TBS boa or TBS bore. Again, I've got the fair one in it. The knife has got a 90 degree spine, so I can strike the fair rod. Good strong knife full tang on it, so nice and strong for battening wood. So again, that's part of the fire kit. And the main one I carried me on the Bibbleman track is the Mooraniv Garsberg. Uh, I've got the survival kit on it also, which has got a nice sharpener on it. Again, I've got a ferro rod here. I've always got the option to use that to make fire. 90 degree spine. Also at back there, I can use that to strike the ferro rod. So all's good with that one. Let's push that back in, there you go. Don't wanna lose it. So there all the external to the pouch I use. <clears throat> now let's get to the main part of the fire kit. All them other pieces, Go add to this, uh, make this work better, and enables you to be safer when you're outside. And the pouch is the Seri pouch from Helicon Tex. It's got some Molly webbing and straps on the back, so you can attach that to any pack that's got the mo Molly webbing on, which I've got a few over here. Or you can actually put it directly on your belt. We've got here where you've got an actual belt connectors for it, so you can carry it individual, uh, separate from everything else too. Or you can just throw it in the pack. It's nice and small. Take it anywhere. So let's have a quick look on the inside. First thing I've got is my little lighter. A little big lighter here. And I've got that in the Exotac waterproof to keep it safe and if it was to fall in water I think they give you about half an hour before it soaks through the breather hole and makes it to the top 
a good thing to have there. That's always your number one, your big lighter. Now, I've got a couple of backups here in case this fails. And one of the backups I just saw was the, uh, the ferro rods on my knives. But I also carry another one in this pouch here. Just a cheap one, nothing fancy. Does the job. That's my second option. Now this, I think it's about two and a half, three dollars. So that's good. Now, next to that, let's get it out. Matches. Now you can carry normal matches, but same as I've got here, keep them wrapped up in a plastic. So this little case here, can be tightened up, fairly waterproof. And we've got the striker for your match on the outside. And carry spare strikers on the inside. And these are the UCO little survival matches. So it'll burn for a bit longer to give you more chance of getting a fire going. So they're the two main ones, your lighter and your matches. What else have I got in here now to aid with the fire? Now, from the fire strip bowl from Pro Camtex Fire Starters, I've got some of that wrapped around another form of keeping the fire going and helping it get going. It's the Mini Inferno from Dave Canterbury. The, what is it? The Pathfinder School, isn't it? Yep, Pathfinder School. But there's the fire strip and got over a meter of it and in here there you go little pads to help get your fire going so we've got one two three options of starting the fire and two options of getting it actually going so let's put them over there what else have i got in here some fat wood oh, i've got two pieces this is the main one at the bottom and look at that look at the resin in there beautiful smells great I've got a tiny piece here as a backup. And another form of getting the fire going. A little Fresno lens. So that can be used for multiple things. One as a magnifying glass for getting ticks out, or if you get a splinter or anything, or for also for lighting a fire with it and getting an ember going. So that's four ways of getting an ember going and helping the fire get going. The fat wood, because of the resin, will hold a flame and increase your chances of having the fire going. And the fire strip roll, there's a second one of them. And the little Dave Canterbury, mini inferno pads. So you've got plenty of options of keeping your fire going and getting it going. But one to get it going again even further is a little pocket bellows. Now I've got a couple of these. And they just open up. So instead of getting all the way down and burning your nose or singeing your hair, blowing. You can stay, what's that, 18 inches away? And I'll let you know quickly, I haven't done a full review of this but I'm showing you now the end you blow is the large end and the small end is the end that goes to the fire all right I've seen people using it back to the front and go now if you blow from the large end you don't have to put as much air through because it's being all condensed down into a little jet of air coming out the bottom so it's going to allow your fire just to burn quicker get the oxygen to it Let's 
put all this away now. And there's not much more you really need. A lot of people have different matches in there, different types of lighters, different ferro rods. Um, I do have a magnifying glass, which is hanging up over there, which I sometimes throw in my pack, just to help get a fire going if need be. But a Fresno lens does very similar. And these are dirt cheap. I think you can buy them in a set of 10 or 20 different places for a couple of dollars or you get the, the better quality ones like survival supplies do and yeah all good so again let's get all this put back and you'll see how this all fits in here Wrap this one around the outside to save some space in there. Put it down the middle, quite a big take out first. Fat word at the bottom. So before I put that in, what I've got is my matches in this part with the backup fat wood in there. I've got my fur rod and striker, the cheap one. I've got the bellows and I've got my big lighter on that side. The Fresno lens, I've got a little uh, mesh pocket here. The main fat wood down at the bottom. And these just sit in the middle there. Uh, we've got room in there if we wanted to add any cotton wool buds or anything else to help start the fire. But that all sits in there really nice. And as you can see, I don't know how, if you know how big these are. It's how small it is compared to it. And there's your molly webbing straps to attach it to your pack. Okay, nice and easy, nice and short, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have and you're not a subscriber, please go down below, click on the subscribe button, and click on the notification bell next to it, and hit all, and then click the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.